What's going on everybody, Gen 16 back here again with another video and today we want to quickly recap the game between the LA Wildcats going against my New York Guardians. Um, the New York Guardians pulled it off with this win, 17-14. Uh, to 14. Very, very crazy game. This was, this was really a game of just a lot of missed opportunities. Um, you know, the New York Guardians could have put up a lot more points than they did. Um, again, the Wildcats probably should have put more points than they did. Um, I mean, you know, the Guardians pretty much dominated the run game. The Wildcats dominated the air game. Um, it was just, you know, but it was just both teams were just, they just missed on, on a lot of opportunities. Um, the defense, I thought that again, defensively, um, they definitely capitalized off of those mistakes from both, I would say from both parties, um, for both defenses overall, but, um, yeah, just a game of just a lot of missed opportunities, still a really good game. Um, but this, the, McKay, you got to catch that pass, man. I, you got to catch that pass, McKay. I mean, the, the, the ball was literally there. I know the ball was a little underthrown, but you got to catch that, man. That's a touchdown. But, it, but anyway, um, the, the Guardians went through a lot of controversy going into this game, right? Matt McGloin was out, um, I think due to injury. Um, Williams was supposed to be the starter. Um, and then all of a sudden Perez had to come in and M Perez balled. Um, Perez, um, again, he, he didn't put up the, the biggest stats in the world, right? But he was, but he, you know, he didn't turn over the football a lot. Um, you know, he didn't, he didn't really make a lot of crucial mistakes. Um, he made, he made, of course he made, he made some mistakes. He made mistakes in this game, but he, he was, for the most part, he was efficient. Again, he didn't really lose the guardians, the game, the guardians won this game. Um, they had to rely on Victor pretty much, um, especially in the second half to run the rock, right? They had to run that rock thanks to Perez out there. Um, but yeah, I mean, they had a lot of missed opportunities. I know there was definitely a, a, a bad connection between Perez and McKay. Um, I know they, you know, definitely went during the mic'd up sessions. Um, that was definitely noticeable. Um, the Wildcats, man, I, I mean, they dominated through the air game. Um, you look at guys like McTrey McBride. My goodness gracious, you saw Smallwood. You saw Smallwood make plays. Um, Spruce didn't really get it going like he did before, but overall wise, he made some plays here and there. But it was pretty much McBride making just he he, he took over in this game, making some phenomenal catches against Smallwood. Did his thing. They didn't really they they didn't run the ball successfully. Matter of fact, they only gave the ball to their running back. I think like I think they ran the ball as as far as their primary backs like only nine to maybe nine or ten carries. Um, but the Wildcats, they missed on a lot, a lot of opportunities. Again, there was a missed field goal late in the game, um, which definitely gave the Guardians a, a huge advantage to potentially seal it away. Um, the Guardians just cap, they just capitalized off, off, just off the, the opportunities that were given to them for the most part, right? Again, Perez didn't do anything special. They ran the ball well, but it's not like they dominated, like they had like 200 or 300 rushing yards. Um, they had over, I think, close to 150 rushing yards, which is great. Um, but for the most part, they just controlled the tempo. They slowed, they pretty much, they pretty much, um, chewed up the clock. And, um, that was pretty much, that was pretty much the plan. I mean, you know, uh, I know some people said that this is a sloppy game. Some people said that this was a game that, that probably wouldn't, you wouldn't see a lot in the NFL, but you know, I thought overall, this was a really good game. I know that there was, again, there's a lot of criticism for this game, but I thought this was a good game. This was a great bounce back win, especially for the Guardians, right? They lost two games in a row, two embarrassing games in a row where they couldn't get over 10 points. Um, they finally, they got 17 points today. I thought defensively, they stepped up huge when they needed them. Um, I know that there's definitely going to be some some criticism with the the Guardians fan base, right? There wasn't really a lot of people there. There was probably around maybe fourteen or fifteen thousand people there. I'm not too sure. Gonna have to look at the numbers, um, but definitely not as as much as we saw during Week One with the Guardians. But I thought that overall, wall wise, um, you know, I, I thought the crowd definitely had an impact on this game, right? You know, they didn't have the biggest numbers, but I, th I definitely thought that they had a, 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 a huge impact, especially giving momentum and, and energy um, to the players um, out there. Uh, ABC and ESPN, Jesus, they got to get it together. They just, they just, you know, every week I have to complain about the the, con this, the the annoying interviews that we see every single week from ESPN. I'm just, I'm tired of it, man. I, I'm just, I'm really, I'm tired of it. Um, to the point where I had to mute them. I had to, I had to mute them. It was, it was just, it was just bad to see. Um, again, Fox Sports, they do it a lot better than ESPN does. But oh, come on, ESPN, you got to get it together. 
Um, but overall wise, again, a really good game. I know that this is a game that's getting a lot of criticism for some reason, but I thought, again, it's football. These things do happen. Um, I thought the Guardians took advantage of the opportunities that were given to them. They came back. They fought hard. They won the game. Um, the LA Wildcats, they had a lot of firepower, a lot of offensive production, but really couldn't capitalize it when it mattered the most. And overall wise, the Guardians just deserved the win. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys want more XFL coverage, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe, especially if you want, again, more, more XFL coverage week to week. Um, I am there for it. Um, again, I've enjoyed the last four weeks of the XFL. I think the product is getting better and better. We're getting uh, new fans. Um, you're starting to see a lot more YouTubers starting to cover the XFL a lot more now. So that's really, really good to see. I think the XFL is here to stay. We've had two back-to-back -back great games on Saturday. Hopefully Sunday will be a lot more better, especially for the people that are playing the XFL. Pay now and then is trying to win some major money. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, until tomorrow, I'm going to catch you guys later. This is Gen 716. I'm out. Have a good night. Stay safe. Peace.